Okay, in this video we're going to use a syntax file in SPSS to write code that's going to create a frequency distribution as well as a histogram and a normal curve in SPSS. So what we're going to do first, this corresponds to SPSS Workshop 1, so we're still dealing with our data set looking at um, sex and the general variable x. And so we want to go from file to new. We're going to open a new syntax file. And when we're writing a syntax file, we need to be able to separate commands from the uh, for the computer uh, from notes to us. And so asterisks do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and enclose within asterisks. This is SPSS Workshop 1. And we're going to do frequency distributions and histograms with normal curves. And then I need to close that comment. Okay, and that's just a note to myself. And then up back to the um, data sheet, I want to go up to Analyze, to Descriptive Statistics, to Frequencies. And the variable that I'm interested in is x. Okay, so I'm going to bring x over. And in the chart column, I'm going to select that I'd like a histogram, and I'd like SPSS to put a normal curve into that histogram. And then I can hit continue. And because we're writing into a syntax file, the next thing we want to do is hit paste. And then we move our um, stuff around a bit, and here's our uh, syntax file. Okay? And in order to make this run, we just highlight it all, okay? and then we hit this little green arrow. And here's our variable. This tells me that my variable name is x. I know that I have 20 cases. And this is the frequency distribution. Now in class, we did this by hand. The computer does it a little differently, but it's still the same. Here we have our range of x. Here we have our frequencies. Okay? And here we have our percent. We can ignore valid percent for now. It's not applicable to what we're doing. And here we have uh, the cumulative percent. So I can see here that I have 10% of this data set gave me a value of 19. Okay, 5% of this data set gave me a value of 24, etc. And then down here, here is our histogram. So what we've done with this video is we've created a frequency distribution and a frequency histogram with a normal curve for the generic variable x.